everyone. I am Amita from Nourish Talk, a platform for natural and holistic therapies. The topic of our discussion is skin and beauty in Ayurveda. I know a lot of women want to learn about skin and beauty, and we are going to be talking with um, Namita, who is a certified a nutrition coach and a biochemic um, mineral tissue expert. And she's from Hong Kong. Namita helps women improve their gut and skin through a combined approach of Ayurveda inspired nutrition. Hi there, how are you, Hi. Namita? Oh my gosh, this is quiet. <laughs> One second, sorry. All Hi, right. How are you? I'm just trying to adjust my screen. Just give me a second, sorry. Okay, yeah, we can see the ceiling. We can't see you. Now we can see you. Can you see yes. me? Is it clear? Yes. Yes, perfect. Okay, perfect. Yes, perfect. perfect. I was just, yeah, great, great to see you. All right. Yes. Thank you so much I, for having me on. Absolutely. So we are talking about skin and beauty in Ayurveda with Namita, who is joining us live from Hong Kong. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about yourself and then we can go into the questions after sure. that. Sure. Um, is the audio is the audio all right? Is mm -hmm. it clear? Yes, okay. perfect. Okay, cool. Everything is good. Um, it's really good. Yes. Okay, perfect. So I'm an integrative nutrition practitioner in Hong Kong. I'm a coach. I specialize in um, gut health. Um, I use natural approaches to help people heal their gut as um, women primarily. Um, I use a combination of Ayurveda and mineral therapy. Wow. Wow, um, that's yeah. amazing. I mean, I, and I have a story myself. I had, I was extremely overweight. I lost 20 kilos, like over 40 pounds. Oh my God. And um, I did it naturally. And then um, I ended up having a lot of hormonal issues because the way I did it, I crash dieted and that caused a lot of issues within my system. Um, and I had major acne flare ups and I went to a lot of allopathic doctors and, and I just could not find a cure. So yeah. I dived in Ayurveda and um, I mean, Ayurveda, just by healing my gut, I was able to heal my acne and um, I managed to um, balance my hormones and it was just amazing because I was, it was an <laughs> issue. I was struggling for it with like, it was two years that I had major acne breakouts and um, nothing was helping me. And within two months after healing my gut, I was fine. And I just realized the synergy between the gut and the skin. And it was just amazing. That's amazing. That's an amazing story. And that's actually the question I was going to ask is the concept of skin and beauty in Ayurveda, uh, it's a combination of internal and external. It's like no matter how many creams and how many lotions and expensive stuff we put on our faces, right, on a topical way. Uh, so that's what I, w I would like your feedback on that. I mean, Ayurveda <laughs> truly believes that, um, the, that everything begins from within. And yeah. our gut is our, and it focuses a lot on the gut. Um, I mean, the, the gut is like, if we have toxins within us, it's mm -hmm. impossible to have great skin. Okay. And that's one of the major obstacles in, in, yeah. um, when it comes to um, our skin. Mm -hmm. um, so um, in Ayurveda, there's something called ojas. Mm -hmm. And that, I don't know if you've heard of the word ojas. Have you heard of the mm -hmm. word ojas? Yeah, yes, so I have. Oh, just is the essence of, um, is they believe is the essence of beauty and longevity and anti-aging. Um, and Ojas basically is to define Ojas is, um, it's the, it's, it's the end produce of, it's the most refined product of good digestion. Okay. And good metabolism. Mm -hmm. And when you have good Ojas, your skin is glowing, your hair is shiny your um, your vitality. So I'm not only talking here about just the external. It's even like your internal, right? Your vitality, your emotions are more balanced and that transcends and you look beautiful. I mean, and so that's why our gut is the most important um, organ when it comes to beauty. Wow. Um, wow. When you have low ojas, your skin is dull. Um, I mean, you age faster. And so it's all about preserving our ojas, techniques on how we can preserve our ojas. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You're going to put all the beauty industry out of business. I'll tell you, Namita. <laughs> no, I tr it comes from within, honestly. If yeah. I truly believe in it. You know, it's yeah. not, um, I mean, I've seen it with myself. I've seen it with my clients. Yeah. 
once yeah. I help, once they uh, correct things, it's so, it's just so, um, I mean, it's amazing. The results are fabulous. Yeah. You know, I was joking, but you know, I know what you're yeah. saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of course. I mean. So, yeah. okay. Um, yeah. So why? So 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 from what what we are understanding is our skin problems. You know, whether it's a little acne or a breakout or even serious problems some people have, it's uh, psoriasis or eczema. It's all related to the gut issues, even the smallest issues, right? And and you're saying, get your ojas. And so what is the what, what is the path to getting good ojas? That's what we want. Your secret. Yeah. So basically, there are various foods that enhance our ojas. Okay. Um, but before I dive into that, I just yeah. feel it's really important to understand that a diet that's customized for your unique body type is very important. Okay. Um, okay. Because we are what we digest and absorb, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, that's, we are the end producer of what we digest and ab absorb. Mm -hmm. So it's important to understand that what someone else is eating may not necessarily suit you. So um, it's important to have things, foods that, that are customized to our unique body type. Mm -hmm. um, that's step number one. Mm -hmm. And number two is have, um, have foods that help to detoxify the body. Yeah. That's very important. Mm -hmm. And number three is have, um, uh, have foods. I mean, if you're, if, you're post, if, it's, if you're post 30 or over 30 years old, I would suggest having foods that, that enhance your, that reduce that are vata pacifying. Vata pacifying. Vata pacifying, yes. Okay. So um, a little bit more fat, mm -hmm. um, along with your customized dosha, um, with your unique... Um, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Does that yeah. make sense? Am I... Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I think... Sorry, I'm a little nervous on Instagram lives. It's just recent, until recently, I started coming live, and it's just like, yeah. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. And, and we can have you on FB Live next time. Um, <laughs> but uh, what I understand is that a uh, personalized um, diet according to your uh, constitution is the fundamental, right? It's the uh, fundamental, yes. Yeah. It's the fundamental um, thing for um, a good, um, uh, for, your, for good skin, for yeah. vitality. When I say good skin, I mean vitality overall, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. what is it? Like, you know, it's, it's, yeah. it's um, thick hair. And it's some people, you may have, you may not necessarily have completely clear skin, but that glow. Do you know what I yeah. mean? That yeah. it's just about having that that sh that shine through, and I yes. just feel that's essential. The energy you are, yes. um, you know, when yeah. so, when you talk, you have that certain that power, that energy that comes mm -hmm. from within, and that's really important. Um, in Ayurveda, also we believe that um, it's it's very linked to compassion. Like mm -hmm. so if you're a compassionate human being and there's kindness from within, naturally your skin lights up, and that. When you when you're kind and you're compassionate, it yeah. even it, it it's related to your gut, <laughs> so you can digest wow. your your food better. I mean, oh really? If, yes, of course. Oh wow! And if you're if you're angry all the time and there's a, and you're stressed and and you have all these um like I wouldn't say negative emotions but emotions yeah. that have low vibrational frequency, it mm -hmm. impacts it contracts your gut and you can't digest your food and that impacts your ojas. Do you see how it's all related? Yeah, yeah. Your mind, your emotions, your mental psychology, how you feel within yourself and what you eat, everything is all it's interrelated. All, it's all connected. It's all connected. Um, in terms of like um, anti-aging specifically and ojas related, I mean like having foods like if you are constantly talking too much, that can even deplete your ojas. Wow. I would give you guys th tips that are not pretty, like not common. Like we've all heard about like, yeah. um, you yeah. should have your protein, you should have your fat yeah. and all of that stuff, right? Even um, like there's so many things. Alcohol is something that can deplete mm -hmm. your ojas um, and impact your digestion, which can affect your skin. These mm -hmm. are overall tips for all your dosha types, okay? Because I, yeah. I don't want to yeah. dive into specific dosha no, types. No, no, no. Um, even excessive um, sex, like sexual release. Mm -hmm. can deplete ojas. Wow. Um, low fat foods, people who are on extremely low fat, a low fat diet, that can deplete our ojas. Um, uh, travel, like if you're traveling too much, that too, um, can, you have to have more um, balancing foods. Raw I foods, see. too many raw foods, 
because your body needs more um, energy to digest raw foods. And if we are what we digest and absorb, if we are a byproduct of what we digest and absorb, and we can't break down raw foods, then, then it's, yeah. But then again, if it's summer and your, and your digestion is strong, it's different. So raw foods uh, are difficult to digest. Yes. That's, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It is because it's like um, we need a, our agni, our digestive fire. Um, yeah. It's we when something is cooked, it's easier for our fire to break it down. Yeah. 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 That makes sense. That makes sense. So uh, yeah. So I think uh, it, it needs a sorry. It needs a lot. You need a lot more digestive energy, fire to break down something raw, and we don't have. Most of us do not have that power yeah yeah so the secret to having a beautiful skin is all those things that we're talking yeah. about have right having a, a amazing having a good digestion along with a good mindset according to your emotional balance mental balance you know the half happiness foods from for your, your, yeah half foods for your unique body type and yeah. also um have foods that if you have foods that are detoxifying as well that mm -hmm. I feel is important, especially when there's a seasonal change. Yeah. Um, um, foods that are digesting, uh, that help with detoxification can also be slightly bitter in nature. Like bitter mm -hmm. gourd. Are you familiar with bitter gourd? Mm -hmm. So like yes. during spring, it's important to yes. detoxify the body. Detoxification is a very important element in Ayurveda. So detoxification with foods like bitter, bitter greens, bitter gourd, Right. Precise. Yes. Yeah. But at the right season, that's very mm -hmm. at the right season. So, so bitter, bitter foods, yeah. Bitter foods are important, but they work as scrapers. So if you're having too many bitter foods during uh, winter, for example, it might dry out your skin. I see. So they're good. Everything has its good, but you have to know how to have it included, implemented in your diet. Which season? With, yeah, which season and for your and personalized your constitution. And your body yeah. type. And your Combination age. of everything. And yeah. your age. Yes. So, oh, at um, the age also, age is also a factor with that. Yes. So it's like when we are, when we are younger, we are more in a kapha stage. Mm -hmm. That's more like we are, there's, there's an element of moisture. And yeah. then when we get into puberty, where most of us are in a, in a pitta stage, mm -hmm. that's heat, excess heat, acne breakouts and all of that. And then post 30, we get into our vata stage. Post 25, 30, yeah. and that's drying. There's less, there's less lubrication. Mm -hmm. So it's everything together. You see what I mean? So it's your customized yeah. diet for your unique yeah. body type, your age, yeah. the season, and then you put everything together, and that's how you. Mm -hmm. It's fascinating, you know, how the world is now coming to personalized uh, constitutional based nutrition. A few years back, if you look back, you know, like I don't think this concept was very prevalent or, or not, not enough people knew about the fact of the personalized nutrition at least five years back you know, even if you look back five years back i don't think it was so no. Like... no it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't as and it's interesting we're going back to our roots yes and it's all connected to nature right like mm -hmm. it's the elements our fire our water yeah. right i mean that's what we are made of of all of these mm -hmm. elements and we're just going back to that so it's really interesting and living in Hong Kong, I have a lot of exposure to TCM, traditional yeah. Chinese yeah. medicine. And yeah. they also have a similar um, concept that mm -hmm. there's yin, there's yang, there's everybody's body is completely different. Yeah, yeah. So it's a similar well, to Ayurveda. And it's that's Ayurveda. right. They're, they're both of the oldest practices. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, and even in California, we, we are exposed to a lot of acupuncturists. There's an acupuncture in every block. I mean, I personally use acupuncture and Ayurveda, both the therapies. Yeah, and the combination is fabulous. Yes, it, it is amazing. It's just amazing. So, so I know the topic is a little bit on skin and beauty. So people would want to know a little bit about um, the, the detox morning routine, like in the morning. Like, is there something they should do like in the, in the morning, like simple what do you suggest? Um, so I would suggest for everyone, this is for all the dosha types I'm talking about, so it's not customized. Mm -hmm. Start mm -hmm. your morning with hot water because mm -hmm. that gets your lymph moving. That yeah. gets your, your, the detoxification process started. Yeah. It jump starts your... Um, yeah. this is, these are basics, okay? And then I yeah. would suggest moving your body a little bit because mm -hmm. um, I would suggest maybe a couple of rounds of sun salutation. 
Mm -hmm. because that enhances um, the energy flow, the circulation, and mm -hmm. it helps to detoxify the lymphatic system. Mm -hmm. um, and the, in the, the morning period is when the morning is most receptive to the natural detoxifying process of the body. So we're just trying to support it. Um, so yeah, so hot water followed by um, a couple of rounds of sun salutations mm -hmm. or any form of, of exercise that, that is, has repetitive in nature. Mm -hmm. um, I don't recommend extremely high intensity exercises because you're just getting started in the morning. Mm -hmm. um, and then I would recommend probably a spice tea, like a spice mm -hmm. tea. But mm -hmm. the spice tea is dependent on your unique body type. Mm -hmm. um, and then after that, I would recommend um, a fruit. I recommend a fruit, depending if you're intermittent fasting. That too is dependent on your, on your body type. So it's very customized. And I recommend seeds, like, uh, like uh, depending if, you're, if your digestion is a bit sluggish, maybe some um, ground flax seed, like a tablespoon mm -hmm. of ground flax seed with a, yeah. with, a, with a glass of hot water. That yeah. just gets its fiber and it gets to flush your system. So basically I'm thinking of, they're all things that just help to flush your system in the yeah. morning. You're trying yeah. to support that function without yeah. drying your system too much. So I'm trying to, yeah, do you get what I mean? Because a lot of detoxifying yeah. procedures can be very drying on the system. Mm -hmm. And they can actually promote aging. I mean, I mean if, if, you, mm -hmm. if you scrape too much, what happens? Yeah. You have to do it very gently. That's my most important thing, the most important thing. And then also um, oil of your dependent on your body type. Mm -hmm. So um, if you're vata, I would say a tablespoon of ghee. Mm -hmm. You heat the ghee up and have a teaspoon, sorry, a teaspoon of ghee, not, not a tablespoon. And that too, start with half a teaspoon and then go up to a teaspoon. Um, and then, or, and if you have a lot of excess heat, if your private, if your dosha is pizza, I would say maybe coconut oil to lubricate okay. your skin in the yeah. morning. Yeah. Um, kappas, you guys don't need the oils in the morning because it's, it's heavy, right? And I, yeah. it's heavy. Oils are considered heavy. I mean, everyone's going on the, these high fat diets, but it's not meant for everyone. Mm -hmm. It depends on your body fat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that no, I think that makes uh, that makes a lot of sense. And that detox you said you talked about the uh, you know detox part of it. So what would be the good way to detox, like a self detox at home? So the detoxing is the hot water. Oh, the oh detoxing that's the hot water. Is the right? You're oh. detoxing your system naturally, right, and gently. Okay, okay. You're okay, having um, your your ex moving your body. Um, I recommend these exercises, but it's better that you someone teaches you. They're called the five Tibetan rites. Um, what is it called? I'm sorry. Pardon. W what they is it called? called? The five Tibetan rites. Okay. So they were they originated in in um, the Tibet. Oh. Okay. And the monks used to do them, and they managed to reverse the aging process slightly by by doing the sequence. I mean, wow. there's this, yeah, it's really interesting. And this man from the from the states, he went, he visited Tibet with with on crutches, with the, with the um yeah on crutches basically. And mm -hmm. he was an old man. Um, and basically he came back walking. Unbelievable. And with a walking stick, not crutches. Sorry, on a walk with a walking stick. And he came back walking after a couple of years, and and it was amazing. And he's and he spread the awareness of he started doing these five rites. And um, it works on your um, thyroid glands and on your hypo, you know, all of the um, endocrine system. Mm -hmm. So I highly recommend that. Along with some deep breathing. You know, deep breathing is also detoxing. Yes, yes. Pranayama, like uh, deep Pranayama, breathing. Like, I was just going to say the nasal breathing, right? No, uh, that's the yeah. easiest for people. If, you are, if you've never done breathing before, um, mm -hmm. then alternate nostril breathing. Mm -hmm. yeah, as you said, is perfect to begin. Like three three minutes of alternate nostril breathing. So yeah, so that itself is a detoxifying process. Otherwise, it has to be pretty customized to your body type. Of course, of right? course. I mean, this is just like, for general. These, are, these are tips that everyone can do. Yeah. But like when it goes beyond that, it's important that it's customized. I don't want to share anything that's of not. Of course. You know, no, no, that's okay. I mean, we are just uh, talking about general tips and this is not yeah. a medical advice. So these are general tips that everyone yes. can do. Yes. And yes. trust me, they work. They get your lymph moving and you'll feel amazing if you start doing doing these tips. Like, it makes a difference. 
Yes. So yes. it's like basically hot water, mm -hmm. um, followed by the sun salutations or any form of exercise. And then if you want, you can try the Tibetan rites, as I spoke about that, followed by a deep breathing for, um, exercise. Uh, how do you do the Tibetan, what you're saying? I mean, uh, can you explain a little bit? Okay. So basically, there are five postures, there are five asanas, and you, you have to repeat each one 21 times. Oh, wow. Yeah. And they help okay. to open up your chakras and balance your endocrine system. Unbelievable. The first one is spinning. Okay, so just spin. You know spin. how our chakras kind of are, yeah. um, they, 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 it's a vortex. Mm -hmm. So basically, that kind of um, promotes movement and anti-aging. Like, it, it, it gets things moving. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. Um, and the rest are all based on your digestion and your um, chakras. I mean, I, even like emotionally, it, you, you release a lot when you, when you do these exercises, which is amazing. So it's, it's great for skin and even emotionally, you feel a lot lighter. I mean, I highly recommend trying them. Okay. Okay. We'll check that out. Um, so what, so we are in winter right now. I mean, what is your toolbox for winter uh, skincare? Like any particular type of oil, then any particular type of uh, routine that we should follow in winters particularly? Yeah. So in, um, I would recommend using um, sesame oil in yeah. the winters, right? Warming a bit of sesame oil, um, giving yourself um, a self massage, um, I would say like 10 strokes up, 10 strokes towards the heart always mm -hmm. um, and applying it before showering. Mm -hmm. um, leave it on for about five to 10 minutes. Um, that I would highly recommend. And then two to three drops of um, sesame oil or, or the oil that's suitable for your unique body type. Yeah. Um, yeah. Putting it in the navel before going to bed. Right? Putting it inside the navel. The navel. Yeah, inside it's the navel. Oh my God, wow. Because it lubricates your, our navel is very much connected to the rest of our body and yeah. it lubricates the body internally. Um, mm -hmm. And then what else would I recommend? I would recommend to have a little bit more fats in the, in the mm -hmm. body, like because mm -hmm. our, our skin is a little bit more drier during winter. Yeah. So yeah. almonds are great, um, avocados, um, what else is there? And spices. Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah, so our ginger and our... Um, Ginger normally, like ginger powder. Yeah. Yeah. Turmeric, um, and turmeric, then fennel, ginger. cumin. Yeah. Yeah. Fennel, cumin yeah. works for most body types. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And yeah. then you can add things that are specific to your, your body type as well. Yeah. Um, Got it. A warming, stick to warming foods because that's yeah. important during um, winter. Um, and then if you want to put a mask, um, you know, like how you guys, you have um, milk. Um, mm -hmm. Cream of milk. Do you know what Malai is? Yes. Yes. Like yeah. So yeah. I mean, um, I think in in the US, I don't know what. Um, yeah, yeah, it's fine. I know what you're talking about. It's the it's the layer that forms on top of the milk when you boil the milk. So it's like a yeah. cream, uh, which which is probably yes. sold. It's it's sold as a separate thing. Yeah. Yeah. So if your skin's excessively dry, just massaging that on your skin. <laughs> And leaving it on for some time will really help to um, to nourish it. Um, yeah, so those yeah. are a couple of tips for winter, I would say. Okay, well, thank you. And honey also, a lot of people talk about honey and turmeric and, you know, I don't know, uh, honey and lemon yeah. juice or honey. Yeah, so honey is great, but it's not for all skin types. Not for all skin types. Yeah, okay. so if you have excessively dry skin, um, yeah. then honey may not be suitable. Though it seems as though it might nourish the skin, but if you have very dry skin, it's considered a scraper on Ayurveda. Oh, really? Wow. Yes. Yeah. Honey is considered a scraper. So I would only recommend it to people who are a little bit overweight, kapha, and okay. who have, because kaphas naturally have a bit of oily skin as well. Yeah. Right? Generally not oil, moist. Yeah. So yeah. Um, if your skin is very dry, then I don't recommend... Um, Honey. Okay. Um, okay. Oatmeal works w really well with a lot of skin types. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Crushing some oatmeal, yeah. mixing it with a bit of milk, and then yeah. you can put that on your skin. That's very yeah. nourishing. Mm -hmm. um, and also, um, as I mentioned, the oil, the body oil, the massage mm -hmm. the body, you yeah. can um, apply the same oil on your face before showering. 
Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. I would have never thought of applying sesame oil on my face. <laughs> you have enough but, time. But it, I mean, it's, it's, it's good. I mean, if you do it yeah. for showering, um, it's great. I'm not saying to leave on the oil throughout yeah. the day, but just before showering, it yeah. penetrates and then you, yeah, it works well. Well, that's a, those are great tips. Well, thank you so much, Namita. I mean, those are great, thank great you tips. Thank for having me. I yes. hope you enjoyed this. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely, yes. And, and um, I mean, these are some of the things that you've been talking about are so um, important. And it's important to clean our, make sure internally, right? We make sure we cleanse our gut, 100%. right? That is the underlying message The here. underlying thing is your digestive. It's about, it's important yeah. to cleanse your digestive system. Yeah, toxins yeah. that build up. That's the main issue of skin yeah. issues are toxins. Yeah. Yeah. So it's about, hi, Shaguna. Um, yeah, so it's about building things. Yeah, so that's very, it's very important. Got it. Well, thank you so much, Namita, for being and with thank us. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. And to all our viewers, I see a lot of people joining. I mean, you know, if you don't have the questions right now, you can email us. I mean, just put it in the comments and, and we are happy to take care of that. And and help us share these sessions. And thank you so much for joining. Uh, thank and you have so a, much for having me. Absolutely. Happy holidays. Happy, happy holidays. holidays. Thank yes. you. Bye. All right. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.